you guys might have seen my DIY IKEA Banquet video, so this time I'm sharing another IKEA DIY project for window seat. You can also use it for dining room banquet, breakfast nook, or any other bench seating project. I use the IKEA Nordly 2 drawer chest and hack it into a super long window seat for my bedroom because I have some awkward empty space in this bedroom and also I would like to have more close storage to contain my mess. I'm planning to DIY some cushions for this bench, but for now, I'm using a chunky runner rug and just fold it in half to serve as a cushion. This project is actually really affordable compared to hiring out. Each of those units costs about $60, so with four of those and all the actual materials to make this customization happen, we got the whole project done under $400. I'll link my blog post with the detailed instructions in the description. I'll also include the materials I use for this project. Before we get started, I want to give a quick summary to the modifications I did. I raised the height of the dresser so it serves more like a furniture piece and fills the space a little bit more. I also created a custom book nook to fill in the extra space I have. And I created a custom bench on the top and added a outlet box on the bench top. Now let's get started with the project. I started by assembling the IKEA Nordly drawer unit following the IKEA instruction manual. I assembled the frame and the drawers separately. Then I place all four of them in my bedroom to get a general idea of how they will fit in the space. Because my window seat will be wall to wall, I had to remove part of the box molding and the baseboard. Then I started to build a base for this bench. I used 2x4 to build a long rectangles that the IKEA drawer can sit on. I used a crack jig to make pocket holes and connected all the pieces together. You can see that it fits my entire wall snugly. Then I attached the 2x4 base to my wall stud. By the way, I didn't remove the baseboard on the back wall because I plan to leave some space there for my power outlet. Because I'm not using the dresser unit which has the top and the bottom, I created my own bottom for the Nordly drawer frame so that I can use it to attach to the 2x4 base. I used some 1x5 boards that I got from a hardware store, cut them to size, and then used a nail gun to staple them to the drawer frame. It also raises the height of those drawers and that I can use a baseboard to cover them all. I then put all the units on top of the base, and it's looking pretty good. On the right side of the space, I have a big closet door, so the remaining space needs to have a shallower depth. Because of that, I used the space for a small bookcase. I attached all the Nordly dresser units together by 1 inch screws. I also made sure to clamp them together so that their top is aligned, which makes it easier to attach a bench top later. I have a wall outlet that is right behind one of the drawer units, so I created a notch on the back frame, and I found this power extension product from Amazon that doesn't take much depth, which is perfect for my case. I'll make sure to share a link in the description for this one. So basically, I'm using it as a power strip right beneath my bench top that is very accessible, and I'll share how I do that in a little bit. Now it's time to add the bench top. We used two 2x12 two boards that are 12 feet long. Reason we used the 12 feet long board was because my bench will be 11 and a half feet long and I want it to look continuous. If your bench is less than 8 feet, another great way to do it is by joining two sheets of plywood together and then using a wood veneer to seal the edge. I did it for my home office desk, which I'll leave a link below if you are looking for the instructions. So for this case, we joined two boards together with wood glue and also added pocket screws to every foot of it. And then we patched it up using some wood putty and sanded the surface. We gave it a few coats of white paint. 
I also cut out a rectangle shape for the outlet. This is what it looks like after we added the top to the window seat. We actually didn't attach the bench top because it was super snug, so it is not really moving at all. But you can attach them together by using some L brackets. I cut out some baseboard to size using a miter saw. I then attached the baseboard using brad nails. With a 2x4 base and the boards that are attached to the drawer unit, my 4.5 inch baseboard covers them perfectly. If you are looking for a lower height bench seat, such as using it as a dining banquet, you can use 2x2 base or skip it all together and just keeping the 3 quarter inch board at the bottom. My house is really old, so the walls are curved. To seal the gap between the bench top and my wall, I got some shoe moldings, and then I applied some caulk to seal all the gaps. I attached them to the bench and the wall except the outlet part. I also did another layer of paint so everything flows together. Well, also because at the beginning I painted the wrong color and realized it after I installed the bench. Before sliding in the drawers, I attached the frame to the 2x4 base. When I designed the base, I made sure that there will be at least one board around the middle of each unit to make it easier to attach later. To slide in the drawers, I basically followed the IKEA instructions by pulling the track out, pushing the drawers in, and then engaging the white switch. I've made the mistake of not setting the white switch to the off position first, and that made it impossible to attach the drawers. So make sure that the switch is disengaged before you add the drawer, and re-engage once the drawer is in position. It does wobble a little bit, so don't mistake the wobble as the switch. Otherwise, the drawer is really easy to install. What's nice about the Nordly unit is that all the drawers have soft closure, which just makes it easier to use. I also finished off the book nook, which is looking cohesive with the whole thing. Moving on to creating an outlet box for the bench seat. I cut several pieces of quarter inch plywood and then glued them together using wood glue and clamped them overnight. I also created a notch on the left of the box so that the power extension cable can pass through. I then slid in the box and placed it on top of the notch I created previously on the Nordly frame. This outlet extension comes with some double sided tape, so I just used them to hold everything in place. For the outlet box cover, I use a 3 quarter inch thick board and then attach it to the bench using two hinges. I also added two small blocks of wood so that the door can sit on top. Having this outlet on the bench not only let me still have access to the power that is covered by my storage bench, but also makes it convenient to charge my phone or plug in small appliances such as a lamp or a humidifier. So this is what the finished IKEA Nordly window seat looks like. It has a lot of storage and having drawers just make it so easy to access things within. I also got some IKEA drawer organizers which fit pretty well inside the drawers. If you are looking for specific measurements and detailed instructions, make sure to check out my blog post linked below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Well, it was such a fun and rewarding DIY project, and I love hacking it makes it possible to suit my space and my needs. I hope you find this video useful if you're looking to build something similar or looking for ideas to hack IKEA Nordly units. If you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post home decor and DIY videos on a regular basis. See you next time. Bye.